Ashley Pickle, Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com, joined with Joe Willis, head coach of the Tyler Legacy Raiders. Coach, after just a grueling first year for you at Tyler Legacy, how does it feel to be out here in May seeing 7-on-7 seven seven being played? Well, it feels great. I mean, we kind of back to normalcy, you know, as far as our guys go. Uh, I got there for – had about a month with them last year, and then we went into, uh, you know, our pandemic uh, mode, and all school was canceled. And, of course, everybody went through that same thing. But our kids responded really well. They got back out in the summer, uh, had a good year this year, won the first playoff game there in 11 years. And uh, we're building off of that now. But uh, having spring – this year and having a full off season and now seven on seven it's really made a big difference it's gonna say like you said you got that first playoff win last year that's big on any any scale but to do that and see the resiliency that your guys showed to adapting to a new coach to adapting what does it say about the character of the kids that you have in your program well it says an awful lot you know and that's the thing I, I really have appreciated most about the kids out there is that they they received us and you know it was a new situation and we were going through a lot but uh, but that also makes you a better team too you know when you do go through something together and we've got a lot of those kids uh, back this next year uh, and, they, and some of them playing really good today so I'm excited about what we've got going. Six to say you're, you're out here you've been watching your guys how pleased have you been with their performances and what do you really hope that they take out of the seven on seven experience? Well the number one thing in seven on seven is we get a chance to have you know players a player led team you know which we emphasize to our guys all the time that, that we're not going to be out there inside the lines with them like we are in practice and this is a chance for them to get out and make calls communicate uh, you know, I've been really impressed with our defense today. I think they played really good both games. You know, offensively, uh, we're working all three quarterbacks in there, and, you know, we've struggled at times, thrown a few interceptions, but we bounced back and had a good game uh, the last game. So uh, showing improvement, and that's that's important as well. Uh, but I think the communication and the chemistry are the two big things you take away from 7-on-7. Seven seven. Um, and then, you know, we would be remiss not to ask. We've, we've got – you're going to have a full off season under your belt. You've got the full season last year. What can we expect to see from your 2021 Raiders squad? Well, I tell you what, after watching them in spring, and you know, we had we had a, a great spring, uh, you know, practice season, uh, and seeing the way we played in that spring game, uh, I mean, I think we're going to be real competitive. I think you know, our district's one of the better ones around. You got Rockwall, and Rockwall Heath, and and Skyline. Those guys also qualified in playoffs. And Mesquite's got a new new head coach, and you know, the list goes on and on. So, and and we play a tough pre district schedule too. We you know we've got some some heavy hitters on there: Lufkin, uh, Longview. Uh, Allen, uh, you know, some teams that, that we're going to have to get ready for, and that's going to prepare us for district. But I'm excited about the way our guys have attacked that mission, and I think that we're going to be real competitive in that race next year. And then final question for you, Coach. You kind of mentioned that, obviously, in the district, you've got the Rock Walls, which you could consider the greater DFW area. But to get your guys out here to the heart of the DFW and get some really good competition, how much does this and making the road trip even benefit your guys, knowing that you're going to have to do the same thing during the season? Well, I mean, it certainly helps, you know get in the car you know at 5 45 this morning and take off and come to the metroplex and like you said you've got some great players out here that you're playing against so it for our guys it's exposure to that talent you know and and understanding that uh, there is a lot of talent in the metroplex and there's a lot of good programs in the metroplex too and uh, they're very deep uh, they've got a lot of kids uh, and if we're going to compete with them we got to get ready and it's it's a good picture for them to have going into fall coach really appreciate it we look forward to seeing your raiders next season you bet thanks for all y'all do